coming at you again with a little quick video on the centroid by calculus method. Okay, we're asked to find x bar for the given shape. Okay, so we have kind of a, a straight slope here and then a parabolic curve on the top of that and we need to find kind of the centroid of that shaded shape there. Okay, now always when you do this, it is my suggestion, you know, take it or leave it, that you draw yourself a kind of a little demonstrator strip there. Okay, just, just to remind yourself what we're talking about. We're talking about, right, a little strip that is dx wide, because that reminds me that, you know, the equation for this is this, uh, for x bar is the integral of x dA over the integral of dA. And we're talking about a differential area, and this rectangle is one differential area, okay? And it is just that, it's a rectangle, okay? So when you do these problems, I suggest you start on the bottom with the differential area, which is summing all of the differential areas up, okay? So what is one differential area, one rectangle? It's just height times width, right? Well, the width I already know is dx. So what is the height? And I'll draw you two arrows, right? Here's one arrow, okay? And here's another arrow. So what is the height of that guy? Well, it's this whole thing minus this, and that would leave me with the height of the rectangle, isn't it? So how tall is this? Well, that's how tall it is. They gave me an equation for all of the y values. So dA is equal to minus x squared over 6 plus 2x, okay? But from that, I have to subtract. What am I subtracting from that? Well, the y value on the bottom down here, which is 1 half x, okay? Okay, and that is going to be times, so that's the height. This is, this is the height of the rectangle. And then the width of the rectangle is just dx, okay? Now remember when we integrate, because we need the integral of dA, so we need the integral of all this, but when we integrate, we have to have limits. And where's our stack of strips? Our stack of books goes from zero over to nine. This is nine inches, okay? Now, I'll tell you this. I shouldn't tell you this, but I'm going to tell you this. Your TI-36 Pro Calculator, you can just enter that into it and give it the limits and it'll do it for you, okay? It will do integrals for you. Yes, a solar calculator will do integrals for you. I'm gonna do it by hand for you and let's see what we get, okay? So I get minus one six. I'm pulling out, I like to pull out the constants, right? And that leaves me with x squared, which becomes x cubed over three plus 2x becomes 2x squared over 2, okay? And then minus, that's 1 half is the constant, and then x becomes x squared over 2 from 0 to 9, okay? And so this becomes negative x cubed over 18 plus um, what? Two, oh, that just those cancel out, don't they? Plus x squared uh, minus uh, what does that become? One fourth, no, sorry, x squared over four, right? Minus x squared over four. Well, that's a fourth of an x squared off of a whole x squared leaves three fourths of an x squared, doesn't it? Three fourths x squared minus x cubed over 18, okay? And then that's from zero to nine. So everywhere I have an x now, I just plug in a nine. So I get three fourths of, that's 81, right? Minus nine cubed over 18. And so that equals .4 
0.75 times 81 minus um, what? 9 cubed um, divided by 18. 20.25. And so what is 20.25? Well, I'll tell you, 20.25 is the entire area of that shape, okay? And that goes here, okay? What goes on the top? Well, that's x times dA, unintegrated dA. Do, what is unintegrated dA? Well, unintegrated dA is this business right here, isn't it, okay? So, you know what, let's fix this. Two minus a half is what? Three halves, right? I'm just, just simplifying a little bit, just simplifying with a little algebra, okay? So let's take unintegrated dA and multiply it times x, and I get this. The integral of x dA is equal to the integral, same limits. Now I'm gonna multiply an x through, and so I get minus, x cubed over 6 plus 3 halves x squared dx. Okay, let's integrate this. So we get what? Negative 1 sixth x cubed becomes x to the fourth over 4. And then plus, there's my constant 3 halves, and x squared becomes x cubed over 3. Those 3's cancel out. So I get. Um, what do I get? x cubed over 2 minus uh, x to the 4th over 24 from 0 to 9. So I get uh, 81 over 2 minus uh, 9 to the 4th over 24. So what does that equal to? 81 divided by 2 equals minus 9 to the 4th divided by 24. Uh-oh. So that becomes 9 cubed over 2 minus x, no, not x, 9, let me substitute a 9 in there, 9 to the 4th over 24, which is, oh, how much is that? 9 cubed divided by 2 minus uh, 9 to the 4th divided by 24 is 91.125, okay? So that goes here, 91.125, and so x bar is equal to that divided by 20.25, which is 4.5 inches, right? So there's my x bar right there, okay? And you would do y bar the exact same way, except you would flip the strip, okay? And uh, we'll do some more problems. I'm going to give you one even more challenging this on the next video. Stay tuned.